Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. A uh, bit of a short video today. Uh, the first thing I want to do is say Time Spinner. This game here is absolutely fantastic. Play it, it's so good. But the main point of the video is, like I said in my previous Mario Maker 2 video, I will be playing viewer levels, and I have been given one of those levels to play. Uh, if you look at this comment here from Audrey, uh, she said, here's my first level, Koopa Chompa Caper, there's the code. It's a shortish SMB3 level based around Red Koopas and Chain Chomps with lots of hidden secrets. So I've already dialed that in here, uh, and I'm excited to see what the level's like. And I probably should move the comment. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Apparently it's been played by a bunch of people already, so it must be pretty popular, I guess. Let's see how we go. Um, I thought I'd already downloaded enough to be able to play it before this point, but apparently not. This is... There we go. Okay, so yeah, it's an SMB3 level, so I've got SMB3 sprites. Okay, well I can see the chain jump there. Um... There we go. Uh, is there a mushroom here? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Um, got a brown plant there. Oh, hello. There's a one-up. Come here, one-up. You can see there's a 30 coin down there, so I'd like to get that as well if I can. I don't think I can jump on that, uh... Oh, no, I can stand on the... Oops. <laughs> I didn't handle that quite the way I meant to. Oh, dear. <sighs> yeah, you can stand on the little peg that the chain chomp has, which lets you climb up to that 10 coin, but I didn't quite handle it right. Uh, I believe 1-ups don't really mean anything here, because there's no overall life system in this mode when you're just playing a level. Uh, I might turn the TV down a little bit. There we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of coins and stuff here. Oops. <laughs> Keep getting hit. <laughs> Is this a mushroom? Yeah. Okay, cool. Boop. I didn't work the way I wanted it to. Eh, I'll just keep going. Do -do -do -do. Da -da -da -da. Uh, let's see, we got chain chomps coming out of this pipe here quite quickly. Um, uh, I didn't time that well at all. Ah, uh, they're everywhere! <laughs> this is a bit scary. I'm not good at dodging chain chomps. <laughs> um, hmm. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Also, Toadette's sprite in this mode is super cute. Look at that cutie. A little, 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 little ponytail. Probably not much point getting that one up every time. Wish I could spin jump in this game mode, but you can't. Um, so I can't really bounce off the chain chomps or anything, which would make dealing them a little bit easier. Um... That was terrible. That was just absolutely awful. I, I don't know what I was doing there. That was completely terrible. Okay, <laughs> let's continue. Uh, boop. Okay, so yeah, get the get the mushroom. Lose the mushroom immediately. I assume I can't go into that pipe because it's full of chain chomps. I think that's how it works. Like, if there's anything in the pipe, you can't go into it. I'm dying a lot. Um, I'm not great at Mario games. Like, I'm, I'm great at Odyssey. I'm not great at 2D Mario games. Um, oh yeah, that's right. I was hoping to jump on top of the pipe and dodge the chain chomp, but it didn't happen. This is really embarrassing. <laughs> mm. I noticed this just levels using some new things in this game. You got this slope here. Might remember there were no slopes in Mario Maker 1, so... That's one of the new exciting things. Uh, there were already Chain Chomps and 1-Ups and Koopa Troopers and all that sort of thing. There wasn't Toadette, but that's not part of the level, that's just my settings that I've chosen to use Toadette. 
the character you pick doesn't actually affect the gameplay at all. It's just a, like, alternate skin sort of thing. Hopefully they'll be adding more of those, because the first game had a bunch of costumes you could use in certain modes. And in this one you just got the four, so it'd be nice to have some more than that. Uh, I, I don't know what to do with that. I'm guessing there's something hidden in that pipe, because that looks tricky to get to. Oh no! I'm having some trouble. Um, I wonder if I can use assist parts. No, pressing minus does the same thing as pressing plus. In the story mode, you can press minus to um use like power-ups and stuff as though you're in create mode, even though you're not. It's kind of cool. It's a much more interesting assist mode than, say, the one in um New Super Mario Bros. games that just does the level for you. That one's terrible, and I hate it. <laughs> Feather, yes! Yes, I'm a furry, finally. <laughs> oh, I finally managed to get to that spot without actually taking a hit. I'm about to lose my feather again, I'm pretty sure. Unless well, I can maybe fly? Let's see. I don't think I can there's enough space to build up my flight. Uh, unless maybe I do it from here. Uh, no. Oh my god. I'm bad at this game. I don't, I don't know if you've noticed. But I'm 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 bad at this game. Um, I really wish I could just throw Cappy at the chain chomps, and then then I would I would could be a chain chomp instead of having to dodge them. But you can't do that because Cappy's not in this game yet. Seriously, I want Cappy to be in this game. That would be amazing. Uh, that's just a cloud. I thought that might be something more interesting. Uh. Give me that feather. Yeah, I'm furry again. So yeah, the um the tail in Mario 3 is pretty similar to the cape in Smoo if you've played that one already. I don't know who's played which Mario games. You can do a little tail spin here, which is just like the cape spin in Smoo. And you can hover. Uh, you actually have to mash the button rather than just holding it like in Smoo, which is a bit annoying. Uh, you can also fly if you build up that meter at the top left top left corner there where it says P. Uh, if you fill that up all the way, you can start flying. Uh, by running. You have to run until you reach P-speed, basically. It's tricky. I'm not sure how to get through here without taking a hit. It's... There's just... Uh, chomps everywhere. I guess I can tank it and then keep going this way. Uh, no, this is not going well. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what to do with that part. With the chomps are just constantly falling. It doesn't seem like there's a gap big enough for me to get through. That one up is in a really annoying position. <laughs> I don't know what governs how fast things come out of a pipe. I haven't experimented with that in the in the um course maker. There might be a way to adjust like how quickly stuff comes out of pipes. If so, this one should be a bit slower. Actually, I think the color of the pipe might determine it. Red is the fastest. Um, which is why they're coming out so quickly, but I don't know how you're supposed to get through there without taking a hit, so let's... Let's, uh... Yeah, it didn't work. It didn't work at all. I'm bad at video games. It's my shameful secret. You probably couldn't tell until now, because I've only been playing games I'm good at. <laughs> but I'm really bad at, at, at the 2D Marios. I, I'm, I'm not good at this at all. Okay, now I'm a furry. That should help. I don't understand how I could possibly get through here without taking a hit. It's just that it's so fast. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, that's the whole level. Okay, it's actually quite short. Um. Ba -da -da -da. Da -da. Interestingly, when you have enemies at the goal point, in the original Mario 3, you get coins for doing that. Uh, but in this version, that doesn't happen. Hmm. Alright, well, let's give it another shot, because I didn't really find any hidden rooms, like Audrey's talking about in her comment there. Um... 
Let's see if I can maybe go in some of these pipes. Uh... The way um, pipes work in, in Mario Maker is if you make a pipe go inable, it always goes to the same part of the level. Like, there's a main area and a sub area, basically. Um, and you can place the exit pipes for each um, entrance in a different part of the sub area, as you wish. It's pretty cool. Uh, I can't really see down there. I can see that there's a 30 coin there. Is that one of the hidden things? I don't know. There's a 10 coin up there as well. Oh! That turtle woke up and bit me. That's annoying. Okay, I also know that... Okay, that's how you do it. Oh my god. I also know that there's a 30 up here. Is that one of the hidden rooms? Or I don't know. I might need to have a look in the editor to figure out what I've actually missed. Because I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> um, I like the level. Um, I'm just not good at this game. But it's a fun level. And it's a nice idea. And it's got some interesting variety in terms of how stuff is placed. I feel like using a red pipe for the um, part where it's dropping all those chumps is just a little annoying. Um, I would have preferred that to be a slower pipe, basically, so that it's a bit easier to get through there. But, you know, I'm not good at the game. If you're targeting people who are good at the game, then you might want a bit more challenge. I reckon that pipe down there goes somewhere. Um, that green one. If I can just get myself down there. Yes. Yes. Okay, this looks scary. Um, okay, got a chain chomp here. We can not a chain chomp. What's this thing called? A Koopa Trooper. So we can do that, and then we can probably do it again, I guess. Uh, I didn't work. Hmm. I might be misunderstanding what the game wants from me here. Okay, there we go. Oh, seriously? It bounced off one of the pegs and it hit me. Okay, so there's probably more stuff I can look at besides that secret area. Because that's one of the secret areas. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't go down this pipe with the pi piranha plant in it. I think you can have a piranha plant in a pipe that you can also go into in this game. Uh, you definitely could in the original games, so... Uh, I feel like that pipe I probably can't go into. I think if... Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but I don't think I can go into that one. That's how you get that. Um, if you're, you know, good at the game, you might do that on an earlier attempt instead of taking quite as long as I did. I'm not sure how you get that 30 coin. Um, I think you're supposed to throw a shell at it, but the angle's a little tricky. Because just doing that doesn't get anywhere near far enough. Hmm. Anyway, um... So... I hate that. <laughs> Okay, uh, here you can actually hit some blocks there, which turns that one off. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a hidden secret or not, but it's useful because then they won't bug you anymore, which is handy. Oops. <sighs> chain chomp. The chain chomps are really annoying, I think. Can't do a little jump to get to where I want to be. This would be easier if I had the tail, but I don't. There we go. So yeah, that pipe is a um, Cooper emitter. You can't go into it. I thought I'd check. That's more like it. That's what I wanted to do the first time, but it didn't quite work. <laughs> okay, there we go. So all we have in here, it's a pretty small room. But there's a nice 50 coin there, which is always good to have. Although it doesn't matter so much in this mode, because coins don't really do anything. In, um, story mode, coins are really good, because basically the whole progression of the game is get enough coins. In this mode, they don't matter too much. Okay, I'm guessing that pipe has something in it, too. Apart from flying chomps. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so scary! <laughs> Okay, let's, yeah, let's head over this way. Uh, ah! I'm bad at this game. 
Maybe I should download it and have a look in the course editor mode just so I can get a good idea of everything I'm missing by being bad at the game. <laughs> uh, I might give it a like. Boop. There we go. Nowhere near the record, jeez. I'm not sure if you were allowed to like stuff that you hadn't already finished in the previous game. Um, in Mario Maker 1. I think it just had a, a star button rather than a like and a dislike button. Um, and I think you couldn't use the star button unless you'd actually cleared the course already. Whereas here I think you're allowed to use them as soon as you enter. Which is an interesting change. I guess it stops you from making a course that's like almost impossible to get through. And therefore getting stars from nearly everyone who actually clears the course. I don't know. That, that seems unproductive. Hang on, there's something up there. How do I reach that? Is there like a vine here somewhere? No. Hmm. I am meant to bring the cape back or something. Oh! Oh, it's a musical lock. Okay. Yay, 30 coins! Can also go in this pipe, apparently. <gasps> Exciting loot. Uh, also, I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, anyway, um, I, I've cleared the level and I've discovered several of the secret rooms. I think at this point I'm probably gonna call it and say, this is a cool level, I would recommend you give it a shot. Um, I'm not gonna keep playing on camera for anymore because I've done it and I'm too bad at the game to get into all the secrets and not die. Um, but I like it. It's a nice level and there's clearly lots of little rooms and stuff to find, so... I don't think I even found all of them, so the fact that I played the level for a little bit here shouldn't spoil it for you. Uh, so yeah. That's, uh, Koopa Chomper Caper by the lovely Audrey. Uh, and the level code is in the title of the video, and I showed it on the screen as well. It's... I'll read it out, actually. H2B CTQ GPG. There we go. Um, and yeah, that's this, this, uh, this game. There's some level of this game. So, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you, uh, appreciated the level and thought it was cool, and... I don't recognize that thumbnail. It must be something I haven't managed to get to. Because <laughs> it's a hard level. I might download it and just play around in the course maker later, but I won't do that on camera just to avoid spoiling things for people who actually want to discover the secrets themselves. Um, I liked it. It's a good level. Well done, Audrey. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.